isn't gonna come out. Hello everyone and welcome back for another Monday video. It's Elizabeth. Oh man, y'all. Riley, Daniel, and I really have been watching The Great British Baking Show a lot recently. I thought because I have such a fun time making baking videos, I'm gonna try and do a technical challenge from The Great British Baking Show. I'm not doing a difficult one, I'm doing an easy one. I went to The Great British Baking Show's website and I found one that I thought would be really, really good. Liam Charles's peanut butter and chocolate swirl cake. Everything is British, okay. Because America's dumb, I'm gonna have to translate these into American. Did not the metric system. Well, that's our first challenge here. I'm already confused by step one. Preheat oven, 190 degrees Celsius, 170 degrees fan, gas mark five. Is that like any of those? I think what I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 190 Celsius. So we gotta get the ingredients. Don't know how much of each ingredient because we need to translate metric into stupid American. Butter. It says golden castor sugar, but this is just normal sugar. Two eggs. Okay, it says self-raising flour and I just got flour and I think I've already messed up you guys. Baking powder and vanilla extract. Cocoa powder and dark chocolate chips. Milk. Peanut butter. You can follow along if you'd like. If you're allergic to peanuts, I recommend not following along. And then there's chocolate glaze, but I don't have double cream, so we're not gonna do the chocolate glaze. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna do this Elizabeth's way. Here we go. Okay, we're back in a bowl of a stand mixer. Screw the stand mixer. We're using our own power. Heat the butter and sugar together until light and fluffy. Gradually add the eggs and then follow with the self-raising flour. Guys, I really think I might have messed up. I don't know what self-raising flour is compared to flour. We're not gonna look it up because we're not gonna see if we're wrong yet. Oh, combine and then split into two bowls. Got it. Oh my God. Guys, this already sounds easy. It does say to get a bunt cake holder. And you know what? We didn't have a bunt cake holder. I got this just for the video. Let's say 16 centimeters. And I don't know how large this is. Oh my God. This is eight inches. I got a bunt cake holder. I didn't say that it was the right bunt cake holder. Come on. Come on. Microwaving the butter, microwaving the butter. Boop. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. I love using big bowls for small tasks. Okay, it's just to gradually add the eggs, which means I'm just gonna add one egg and then I'll just add the other. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. I know it's only three ingredients, but it's looking gorgeous. We're going to gradually add half a cup of flour. And of course this is going to be super messy. Oh, it's all over me already. Also, I just gotta say that anyone who's a baker, you guys must have like really muscular forearms. Half cup of flour. Oh, I love that when it breaks in and you're like, finally mixing in flour into something. We got a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna mix that in and then we're done with the little cake -a oh my god. Okay, you guys, so I just finished the cake and I was like, let me read through the instructions before I keep going on. I don't know what to do, okay. With the chocolate mixture, add the cocoa powder, chocolate chips, and milk and place in a piping bag. And that's where you lose me because I don't have a piping bag. So what I think I'm gonna try and do is make a Ziploc bag, a piping bag. But then it says for the peanut butter mixture, Beat through the peanut butter and food coloring until you have a golden rich color. I didn't get orange food coloring. I thought that was just gonna be for appeal. I don't know, for the coloring. I don't really have a peanut butter mixture. It's just gonna be peanut butter. Am I just putting peanut butter into a piping bag? Cut the ends of the piping bag off. Just big enough for the chocolate chips to come out and cut the other bag the same. Can I just do this without using a piping bag? I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to make this chocolate mixture and I'm gonna have peanut butter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make the mixtures, but I'm not gonna put them in a piping bag. I'll just slowly add them to this. For this chocolate mixture of sorts, we need two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And then it says 15 grams of dark chocolate chips, which is one and a half teaspoon, which I'm like, what is going on? And the milk is one to two tablespoons. If it's one to two, just say one and a half. You know what I mean? I don't even know what this is. What is this? What Whatever this is, sure, okay. I don't understand. <laughs> a fourth of a cup of peanut butter is essentially the same as 50 grams. Sure, sure. Okay, we got like a, oh, oh no, Elizabeth. This is not good. <laughs> I want you all to know that I am trying. Trying our best here, we're, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying. We got the cake, we got this chocolate thing, and we got a thing of peanut butter. Starting with the peanut butter mixture, pipe a little of the mixture in alternate grooves halfway up the tin and follow by piping a little bit of the chocolate. Smooth the top of the mixture with a palette knife. A palette knife? Here's the deal. I'm gonna put some of the cake in. I'm gonna put some of the chocolate in. I'm gonna put some peanut butter in. Guess we're gonna do all of the cake. This is too big of a tin, Elizabeth. Okay, we're just trying to level this out here, folks. Oh my God, it's just a ball of chocolate. Oh my God, you guys, you guys, we're gonna, Oh, this is so 
Bruh. I don't understand. I did what they asked me to. Guys! I think, I guess now, put peanut butter in this. I don't know. I just, I want it. Oh my God. We thought we could do a technical challenge from Great British Baking Show. All right, here it is. I'm gonna pop it in the oven and um, I got nothing. That's what it looks like. It could go either way. We're gonna let it cool and then we'll do a taste test. All right, folks, I've been trying to do this for five minutes. It's not coming out. So we're just gonna dive in and we're gonna try some of this. All right, there's just a lot of peanut butter in my mouth right now. It's not bad, it's definitely not good. The peanut butter is so much. I think we're gonna give it a five out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if I should bake anything else, what you guys wanna see me do in quarantine. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because I post a video every single Monday and on Fridays I post my tier list videos and I will see you next Monday. Boom, boom, bye.